So, welcome back to another channel, and tonight I'm going to do my press conference reaction for, t for tomorrow's match against Manchester City at the Etihad, kick off at 8 o'clock. And basically, before I go on, if you leave your comments section down below, smash your likes up and subscribe if you're new. I've got 138 subscribers now, so just keep going up all the time. Thanks very much again for that. And... Yeah, it's been a good few days for my subscribers because I think I'm doing okay and getting confident on there, so which is fantastic. So, on to what Steve has been saying in the press conference yesterday. He's been asking questions, answer some questions from the press, and the first one is asked: Is there enough in Newcastle dressing room to turn the situation around? Bruce added, "I sincerely hope so." We hope to have a few players back, certain the defence areas, which then leads to putting midfield players in the right positions. The vast majority of the players has been here for a long time, so they know what's required. They know what they need to do. We're all disappointed, but what better place to get ready for? It's a game of football again. Let's make sure they are ready. Well, first of all, he's lost the dressing room. I don't care what anyone say, right? It's so, so obvious he's lost the dressing room. The last four games has paid to that. And not only that, he also said the majority of the players have been there for a long, long time. Yeah, championship players, mind. Yeah? We need new blood in the team, especially in the summer. That's what we need. So, and some of them are not good enough. For players like Sean Longstaff has not been good enough. John Shelby Shelby's not been good enough. Yeah? Our midfield are not good enough whatsoever. And that needs freshening up either in this January window or in the summer, because at the minute, the two players have lost their confidence, as far as I know. And Steve Booth ain't going to come out here and say, well, look, I've lost the dressing room here. He ain't going to say that. But we know, as fans, he already has. Look at a few cup war games. Look at the Leeds games again. The way you can see the last cup war goals. And then the, the players will answer that question for you. If they really want to defend Booth, if they really want to play for Booth, they would have bust the gut by now and give it a right go but like I said it hasn't been good enough and he knows he's under pressure simple as that and Mike Ashley the owner is not very happy with the way things are at the minute because we should not be fighting relegation but I'm afraid we are at the minute we're in a dog fight so that's my opinion the next question he was asked is the club as previous mentioned by Bruce Moon forward in my opinion no because you haven't got an identity, we haven't got a style, it's too passive, turgid, it's absolutely boring to watch, it's horrible football, dinosaur football, and the players are not very happy. You don't take a throw in close to their half and decide to kick 50 yards back to the goalkeeper, and really, that really blasts us off and most fans off as well. It's not good enough, yeah? So this is what um, Steve Bruce has answered. Since I went through the door, the first thing I try to do is take the club forward. That's my job. I'm a Newcastle fan. Like everyone knows, it's slow. And after the assault against Brentford, you have to accept that people are going to say there's been no progress. I would like to beg to differ. Really? What is the process, Steve? What is the process? Relegation? Because I've got in a minute. Because it's not good enough. And fans are now just absolutely furious the way it goes on in a minute. And then... I'm not going to read the word for word, but he did say as well, people are going to have their own opinions, which we are. I mean, social media plays a part of it as well. So there you go. And then he also added, there's no dispute in the fact we had a poor week, especially when we blew an opportunity that we had. Unfortunately, they have been Newcastle over the last 40 years where we haven't been to semi-finals. I'm disappointed as anyone else. Well, this is the biggest chance to make it to the semis a couple of years ago. And it hasn't really happened. It's not good enough. And that's down to the manager. The players aren't playing for him. We had a couple of chances and we just didn't take them. Second half was the worst. One of the worst I've seen in ages. And the way we could see the lack goal was absolutely shocking. But that's gone now. We move on to Saturday's game. And he was also asked, are you confident you can turn this around? And, and my answer to that one is going to be a no, because the players don't want to play for him. He's lost his swear, he lost his identity. And again, 
there's not going to be any changes from this guy. This manager should be sacked. And I don't care what anyone say. Yeah, but Ashley ain't going to sack him. Well, I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, if you're Ashley back that sort of thing, okay, you can't even support him. He's not my manager. That's your manager, not my manager. So he was asked about that. And he said, I've been up against it before. I'm as disappointed as everyone else that we didn't get to the semi-final. That's gone now. Now in the Premier League, while we all have to be a bit higher, you know you're going to be up against it as a manager. And then he also added, if you manage Newcastle, then you've got to deal with the consequences that come in your way. Thankfully, I've been around the block a bit and I have been in difficult situations before. And he doesn't shy away from it. Well... Sorry, you can shout as much as you want, Steve, you can see it as much as you want. But bigger the oppositions, it's not going to wash with our fans at all whatsoever, yeah? Just give the players confidence. Ask the questions about your own players and any injury news. Are they going to come into the team? We don't get answers for that, you know? It's the Newcastle United press conference. Not the opposition's press conference, or don't bother. So, for me, he's not going to turn it around. He hasn't got the ability to turn it around. He's lost the players, and the players do not want to play for him. And you can see the football is just absolutely poor. And I can't see him doing it. I think he'll be gone by January or February. That's my opinion. We need this tier over ASAP. And he's asked as well, can Newcastle be dragged into a Premier League relegation battle this season? My answer is yes, they will. We are going to lose the next three games. The teams for Lewis is going to improve. And around the middle of January, we could well be in the bottom three because we've got Man City, Liverpool, Leicester, Arsenal and Sheffield United yet to come. And I know for a fact we are going to be in trouble because we're simply not good enough. The players, we've got good players there, but they're being held back by this manager. And it didn't help him. So he was, and he said, if you accumulate of points over a 10 month period, that matters. If you're a club like ours or a club that expects to be in the bottom half of the Premier League, then it's always going to be tough. When you see Arsenal on 14 points, you realise how tough it is. Arsenal are going to be above us by a lot of points at the end of the season. Just having a blip in the moment, they will turn it around in time. But we're not going to finish about Arsenal. Not for a long, long while yet. They will turn it around. But he has also added, there's going to be periods where you go up and down. And unfortunately, we had a bad week. It's only three or four weeks that we've beaten Crystal Palace. They were delighted with the performance. And then for that up against West Brom. Unfortunately, we had a poor week after that. I think that we have more poor weeks after that as well, Steve. Because, like I said to you, we're not going to win those upcoming games. Because we just can't do it. And for me, unless he changes it up and play plays the right positions, play a formation, let him play the football, we're just going to be the same. Because we've been shite. That's my opinion. And the last question he was asked, are the players giving it all at the minute? And the answer to that is no. Look at the lead game. The last couple of goals to give away. They didn't bust a gut to save the manager. No, they didn't. Against Fulham, we just got to eat and goal against them. After a penalty, we had 30 minutes to win the game. And they never had one shot on target. They didn't bust a gut for the manager. If they had done, they would have done it. And again, let me just see what we wrote down. He was asked that question, are the players giving them more? My answer is no. He said, over the last 18 months, the one thing I can't level them is lack of commitment. Yes, you can pass the ball better. Yes, you can play better. We did the other night. That is the biggest disappointment for me because unfortunately in the last week in particular, we haven't done enough with the ball. We've been slow, pedestrian with the ball, and unfortunately, that's not been good enough. So, I don't know whether to believe in really. We can see from our own eyes that the style of football has been absolutely shite. It's poor and it's not exciting to watch. And he needs to fix it up very, very quickly. Because at the end of the day, he's just waffling on and he's just trying to be clever for himself. But he's not on the same lines with us. 
and it's just not good enough. It's just frustrating, and he needs to change that. So tell me what you think, guys. Do you believe what Steve Bruce is saying, or is he talking rubbish again, or is he trying to get out of this? And if you leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and if you just drive the likes up as well, it'd be very much appreciated. And I should be doing a match review tomorrow night, and also I'll be doing my play ratings live, and I should do it on Twitter as well. And um, hopefully you like my videos, and until then, are we the lads?